I began wondering if gifts on YouTube community posts reached a wider audience after learning that Reels had a greater potential than static images on Instagram. I still don't know the answer to that, but today we're going to learn how to make an easy animated post just in case it does get more impressions. On Canva's homepage, search the phrase, tag someone using an Instagram post. Anywhere you post a square design. I'm going to be removing some of the elements to make this more simplified. You can modify this post any way you wish. If you've taken away one of the search term boxes like I have, I recommend selecting all of them together so that you can size them up a bit. Put in the text you want for your social media platforms. I'm choosing to make this a Canva keyword search, which will showcase gradient, circle frame, and shapes, because those are the three elements we will be using for this technique. You will notice the circles that are here. We are going to use them to create a circle border. Select one of the circles so the shape panel comes up. Select border style so you can add a solid border. Change the number to what suits you. I'm using number 10. Tap on the solid color so you can give the middle part a transparency. Make it a little bigger if you like. We're going to leave the rest of the circles alone for now. I'm going to use a feature called Styles. If Styles isn't on your left hand tab, go to the More button. Styles is right here. I'm going to be using my Canva Pro brand kit with all of the Canva Classroom's main colors. If you want a free trial of Canva Pro, let me know in the comments. Canva has some tried and true color palettes that you can use in your designs. Next up, I need to change my fonts. I typically use all Anton, but today I'm going to look at font sets. I'm scrolling down until I see Anton. Canva has paired it nicely with two other fonts. When you're switching out the colors and you're not getting the exact color combination you desire, you can select the color for the text and change it to the color you want. I decide for this post, I want my back color to be black adjacent and my main color to be cyan. Let's learn the technique that's going to make this post move. A time-saving tip in Canva is when you are experimenting with things to add a blank page. This way you have plenty of room to select and size what you need to size without worrying about other elements on the design. Copy the circle border to the blank canvas. You'll see why this is important in a little bit. Head over to the Elements tab and search Frames. Select the circle frame. Now go back to the search bar and type in gradient. Move to the video tab to see all the videos. The video I'm using is a premium element, which means you need Canva Pro to access it. But the technique can work for any of these video elements. Select your favorite video, but the cool thing about frames is that you can try a variety of things without having to resize them over and over again. All you need to do is left click the video and slide the pointer right on top of the circle and it will slide in. If you need a lesson about grids or frames, comment to let me know. There are a couple things that you can do with this video now. You can crop the length by selecting the timer at the top. You can also double click the video and slide it into a better position. You can flip it in different directions too. I'm going to size it down to the circle border. That is why I brought a copy to the blank page. You will notice that it disappears behind the circle video. That's okay for now because as you make your circle frame smaller, the border circle will appear. Try to size it down to the approximate size you need. 
You can select them both and position them in the middle and center to see if the size is right. If it is, you can right click and send backwards to see what you think about the size and color of your border. You may decide you want a smaller border like six once you see them together. You may also decide you want to try a different color, but I recommend waiting until you get it back onto your design. Duplicate this while we're on the blank page so you have as many as your design needs. We're going to go ahead and send these circles backwards so that we can play with the video. I'm choosing to flip one of the videos horizontally and one of the videos vertically. Position the three circles to middle and center and then group each pair together. My recommendation is to line the circle pairs in the order you want them on your design before you make a copy to put them in place. Put it exactly where you need it to go. Do this for all of the circle videos you have. Once you have it there, you can right click each one and send it backwards so that you can remove the original circle from each one. You can press play to check out your design before you download. Keep in mind that it will show you both pages of your design, but you can stop the play button after you see the first page. If you are downloading this for Instagram, you will want to select MP4. If you are downloading it for a YouTube community post, you will want to select the GIF option. To learn how to add images and GIFs to your YouTube community posts, you're going to want to check out this video. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!